Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best printer for Chromebook. Starting at number 5. Canon Pixma MG3620. Last but not least, the cheap printers. Our pick is the Canon Pixma MG3620, a basic inkjet all-in-one model. It isn't super sturdy, lacks a display, and only has a flatbed scanner with no ADF, but it produces sharp documents and good-looking photos. The main drawback is its low page yield of around 200 black and color prints. Also, since it uses a tri-color cartridge, you must replace it even if one color runs out, wasting usable ink. The cost per print is still low because the cartridges are cheap, it just needs a lot of maintenance. It's still a good option if you only need to print one-off projects once in a blue moon, otherwise, it's best to get a model with better page yields, like the brother MFC J1205W slash MFC J1215W above. Coming at number 4. Brother MFC J1205W. Our best budget pick is the brother MFC J1205W, also known as the brother MFC J1215 at Walmart. This all-in-one is a good option if you don't print all that often and only need basic features. It has a sturdy build, Wi-Fi and USB connectivity, and a flatbed scanner with extendable lid hinges. It produces high-quality black and color documents, although you'll have to be patient, as it only prints 9 black or 6 color pages per minute. Printed photos look detailed but overly dark, as the printer has trouble reproducing bright, saturated colors. This printer yields around 1100 black and 700 color prints from a set of ink cartridges, and the cartridges are cheap, so your maintenance cost is exceptionally low. Of course, as it's a budget model, it's missing features like an automatic document feeder and Ethernet connectivity. Still, it's a good option if you want something affordable and don't mind a few trade-offs. At number 3. Brother MFC J4335DW If you need something modest for general home use, get the Brother MFC J4335DW, an all-in-one inkjet model. It's more compact than the laser models we recommend above, so it takes up less space, and you still get plenty of features, like an ADF-equipped scanner and plenty of connectivity options. It's fully compatible with Chrome OS and works straight out of the box without installing drivers or third-party apps. This model only has Wi-Fi and USB connectivity. If you need Ethernet or external storage support to print off a USB flash drive, you can go with the Brother MFC J4535DW variant, but expect to pay a little more. This printer uses four ink cartridges, the usual cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, and yields around 2,000 black and 800 color prints. This means you won't need to replace the ink cartridges often unless you print a lot, and even then, the cartridges are relatively cheap, so your maintenance cost won't rise too quickly. It produces outstanding black and color documents and is pretty fast, pushing out 17 black or 15 color pages per minute. As for photos, it prints very fine details but struggles to reproduce bright, saturated colors and very light and dark shades. Number 2 of my list Canon Color Image Class Our best upper mid-range pick is the Canon Color Image Class MF656 CDW, a color laser all-in-one. It has the same features as the brother above and produces documents that look just as good. It yields significantly more color prints and is easier to maintain because its toner cartridges contain the drum, so you don't have to replace it separately. The trade-off is that it prints slower at 22 pages per minute, and that speed is only achievable via a wired USB or Ethernet connection, which is inconvenient. Scan speed is also slower but pretty respectable at 14 pages per minute. Cheaper variants are available like the Canon Color Image Class MF654 CDW, which lacks duplex scanning and fax functionality. You can see more details about the variants in our full review. If you don't need color printing, get the Brother MFC L2750DW. This monochrome laser all-in-one produces high-quality documents, warms up quickly, and prints up to 36 pages per minute. It doesn't cost much to maintain, 
as it yields a large number of prints, and replacement toner is cheap. Also, there's only one cartridge to replace. The lack of color printing is the main drawback, so you must be sure you won't need to print any color documents. Its ADF scanner supports single-pass duplex scanning but is slow, processing only 7 pages per minute. There are less expensive variants without duplex scanning or Ethernet if you want to save more money, and you can also get this printer bundled with high-yield cartridges. And number 1. Brother MFCL 8905CDW. The best printer for Chromebook we've tested is the Brother MFCL 8905CDW, a color laser model designed for small or home offices. This all-in-one produces amazingly sharp documents, prints quickly at up to 32 pages per minute, and doesn't need much maintenance. The scanner produces high-quality scans and can process documents quickly, thanks to its automatic feeder with single-pass, double-sided scanning. Its page yield is excellent, so you don't need to replace the toner cartridges often. The drum also doesn't need regular replacement since it's good for about 30,000 prints. This model is only one of many variants in the series. If you don't need features like duplex scanning and NFC support, you can save some money with a cheaper variant like the Brother MFC L8610 CDW. You can see more details about the variants in the full review. Regardless of which variant you choose, the one thing that laser printers don't do well is photo printing, as laser printers typically have a narrow color range and struggle to reproduce fine details. We have two recommendations for photo printing, the Epson EcoTank Pro ET5850 and the Epson EcoTank Photo ET8550. The former is a more office-oriented model with faster printing speeds and more features, like an ADF with duplex scanning, while the latter produces higher quality photos. Both use a refillable ink tank instead of ink cartridges and yield thousands of prints, so you won't have to worry about high ownership costs. The downside is that they're more expensive up front. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.